Okay, so very good afternoon, everybody. This is Viber and I'm the founder of I'm Skills. And I am going to host this orientation class for Devrat, Michael, Rahul, Sangeeta, Shiva, Surya Kant, Vrinda, somebody using a device name, not sure about the person name. We also have Prema here. Hi, everybody. Before we guys begin in the chat box, let me say hi. Confirm me that you're all able to hear my voice loud and clear. You guys can see the screen as well. And we are recording this class so that we can upload the session recording there on our YouTube channel and you can get the access for the same. If you would like to check something once more. Quick acknowledgement from all in the chat book. I just have said hi to all. Hi. Okay, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and quickly create an agenda for the lesson today. In this class, guys, I will help you guys to understand content writing industry. Now, in this class, you will also be learning about how exactly the entire market of content writing as the industry, how exactly it works, what are the different types of expectations typically people have, or I would say brands have in their mindset when they hire a job person or a freelancer or, you know, let's say as an agency. I will also be helping you to overall understand the, the, the market scenario that to get into it, what are different types of uh, things you require to be a good content writer or at least to have a great portfolio around it, okay? We will also be talking about two sources of income as a content writer, uh, how you can generate that. The most important part is I will help you to understand in this lesson today the best practices and, uh, you know, that how much time it takes to be there. That's the important part. It's not just that, you know, if you're going to pursue a small course, then you're going to win the market. That's not true. I'll help you to overall understand the realistic figure. According to that, if you're ready to go ahead and give yourself that much time to this particular you know, subject, you can go ahead and decide further whether it is for you or not. I will help you to understand why I'm skills content writing training program. Why is that we are the most respected institution delivering these courses? And what are the special things you get here at I'm skills when you participate for the content writing master course? In the end, we will do an open Q&A so that if in case you guys have any questions, doubt related to anything around content writing, you can feel free to do that. You can feel free to ask me those. Now, let's go ahead and understand step-by-step step the content writing industry. All right, so I hope we are all ready. Now, before I go ahead and talk about the subject, let me ask you guys a simple question. Why do you think people are hiring content writers in the industry today? If I ask this question to Devrat, Michael, Prema, Rahul, Rishabh, Sangeeta, Sneha, Surya, Kant, Vidhi, Vrinda, why do you think people hire content writers in the industry? What are the different types of expectations or objectives brands they keep in their mind while hiring somebody for the content writing profile? So if you can help me to understand this, whatever you think, so there is no... Uh, right answer expectation or there is no answer that I'm going to expect. It's just that, just answer whatever you have so far accumulated as your understanding from the internet or somebody might have coached you around the subject. Help me to know, help me to understand why is that people, as per you guys, they hire content writers. You guys have 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and check that how fast you can type and uh, whatever you think, please put that in the chat box. And I request everybody to participate in this. Given the more you're going to participate, the higher value you can expect from this class. Surya Khan says for the website content development. Very good, Surya Khan. What about others? Brinda says content is king. It is the heart of everything online. Whether it is website ads, the social media posts, it's about, about communicating with the consumers. Very good, Brinda. To advertise and generate sales over digital platforms. Very good. What's your name, by the way? Devra says brands or companies requires expertise to send across a strong positive message and that will help them to acquire a customer or attract a customer. Sorry. Okay, great. Other please, if you can just help me to know your current understanding, please. Everybody, please participate. Okay, so Rahul says product and services they need to show across the channels and for the right pitching as per the audience requirement. Okay, great. Let me help you to understand the real understanding around content writing. 
and also why is that brands are hiring content writers prema says researching the information on a particular topic and creating content to give another reason to the consumer to visit again and again to enhance product value reaching out to the consumers or customers and also because business owners are busy okay companies require content writing to convey their views very good so if you closely monitor there are three core objectives any brand is looking forward to achieve from a content writer acquisition of a customer online sales lead generation brand building these are core objectives in some rare occasions if you are going to work for a brand like let's say times of india let's say economics times so let's say kobo it's a book publication house okay those type of companies have a specific role to write an article press release or journals or magazine articles or something depending upon the model that's very rare occasion or i would say very less percentage of businesses the higher percentage you can say almost 99 plus percentage of businesses out there they achieve these three goals from content writer sales lead generation and business uh, you can say brand building let's understand one by one with some examples so that you guys can relate it better the first one that i've said is online sales second one i've said is that lead generation third one i've said is that brand building which all types of companies are into this types of models or business model let's understand so prema has a plan to buy iphone 11 right 64 gb white color how will she buy she will buy one let's say there is a site called amazon now companies like amazon flipkart they are into e-commerce and they don't you know have an interaction model it's just that you're searching for something from the web you will find the website or the product page you will click if you're going to you know see that okay price is under my budget you will straight away buy they will send you the product right how it works let's understand the process one way you're going to google here amazon.in that is their website address this type of traffic in the internet world is known as direct traffic d i r e c t direct okay even if they advertise they don't advertise a person who is interested to buy iphone 11 will google here i'm sorry not google they will use a search engine here that is from amazon and this person will click and finally make a purchase where at amazon only because the pro product let's say 34000 is what i'm getting i know this is under my budget and i'll straight away make a purchase do you think any type of a content writing help is required yes in the case when the person created this product page let's say this one so a designer would need a writer to create a landing page or a product page right or a copywriter to add ad copies so that people whosoever is actually checking this product page are likely to buy the designing will be done by the developer front end developer this is one way of people buying it what about others how exactly these writer helps these individuals in terms of buying so rest of the audience they go there on the internet and what they write they write iphone 11 for brands like amazon what is an opportunity in indian market this is a national fact right this is indian market you can see in front of you 1.8 million 18 lakh people every month they google a term called iphone 11 out of this 6 lakh 8000 people they click at organic results 3 lakh some thousand people click at paid ads rest they do not click anywhere let's minimize this these are paid ads 1 2 3 4 C typically created by the digital marketing team okay but the content that is being used here it's a job of a copywriter this infographic is being created by a graphic designer and the final objective of a brand is to sell this iphone understood 3 lakh people if they don't click at amazon and they will click or you know let's say reliance they likely to buy from this site because they have more option available from reliance one way second way where do these people click 1 2 3 4 all these types of websites right now you may observe sites let's say apple amazon they get these many clicks every month these are free results but seo based organic results now this process this particular website why this website is at you know uh, position number 2 on rank you know page number 1 because the content or a product page they have created that is in a way it is seo friendly followed by the webmaster guidelines now it is important for a writer here so a copywriter or a content writer will help a brand of course not in designing 
but to understand the overall content creation and will help brand because six lakh plus people they click at organic results to buy this product called iphone 11. a job of a content writer in organizations like these they have because they don't have just iphone 11 they have 13 as well they have millions of other products water cooler ac fridge and everything right they sell every type of a consumer good today so the job of a content writer is to help these brands or helping these brands i would say in terms of selling the product because until unless the product is not visible to the person whosoever is searching about that thing they're on the youtube or they're on the internet they're unable to go ahead and sell understood everybody quick yes that's a role of a content writer and it's a mixed role a mixed role in the sense of you are the writer you're the one who will create the entire product page somebody else will design it but your role is to create that and if you are not following the guidelines given by the search engines uh, you know every search engine have a different guidelines you will not be able to help these brands to rank. Understood, Anjali, Avnash, Devrat, Michael, Prema, Rahul. Now, let me help you to understand the second type of a business in the market. Second type of a business is lead generation based companies. Now, I'll give you one great example here. You will be able to all relate it better. Which are all those types of companies, those who are into model of lead generation companies like I am skills. I assume you're searching for content writing courses, online, offline, whatever. You might have been to us, other institutions as well, right? Everywhere, wherever you were at, let's say us or somewhere else, we have all asked you in exchange to download the brochure, you can uh, give us your phone number, name and email, right? Now, given you are the one who is searching for a course around content writing, you're a qualified prospect for us. Even if you would like to participate in a demo, we will ask you for your email ID. So that's called leads, qualified people interested to buy a subject. And in that case, we are able to go ahead and convince you that, okay, our product is better, right? Now, content writers, what are their job roles? I assume each one of you might have been here at IM Skills from various sources. Some might have been here from Quora. Some might have read some reviews. Some might have read about competitors. Some might have checked reviews on YouTube. Some might have read reviews at some other websites. You might have referred by some other blogs in the market, but in the end of the day, the writer's role is to create a presence around that subject for us. And finally, we will be able to go ahead and showcase our product or give you the demonstration of what we have. That is an opportunity. So it's not just about IM skills, any service-based company out there in the market. Their business model is they acquire a customer, but they first capture a qualified prospect so that they can fulfill the requirements, whatever the model they have to convert a client. Understood? Look at nokri.com. When you have applied for a job at nokri ever in your life, are they providing the jobs? No, it's just a portal, right? They sell your database to the companies. Those are providing jobs by those recruiters, HR consultants. It's just that you have given your full information. You're a qualified lead for those consultants. Those who are searching for that particular job wherein you fit as a KRA thing, what happens? They buy your details and then they call, they qualify you and they send you for the resume thing and then interview and then you get a job. Once you get a job, you complete your three months, they get a commission. That's the model, right? But the, it's not about the model, understanding the model of HR consulting things. The model you need to understand is it's all about capturing the right set of leads, right? Are you all getting my point? So in the industry, what is a job profile of a content writer for service-based companies? Let's say we are selling content writing courses, but how many of you have searched for keywords like, is content writing a great career? What is the future of content writers? Content writer's salary, career, scope, all these types of things you might have searched. Am I correct? Every time, whenever you have checked around this particular subject, you might have seen a blog from IM Sales or our page, right? And the final action or call to action we have given you guys there is attend a free demo speak with the counselor see that how we are going to teach you guys understood guys quick yes no maybe second set of business is also clear Rinda, vidhi suvya khan sneha saurabh sangeetha rahul srishab let's understand the third type of a business all right the third type of a business is brand building now, there are elections in the month of March 2022, north part of India, Uttar Pradesh. You might have seen a lot of positive conversation about prospects who would like to become CM 
or the current ruling party. They are sharing great content at social medias, and they are never asking you to give vote to us, or they will never ask you, uh, you know, you give us your phone number or something, or you buy some kind of a stuff. No, they only create a great content, and slowly, gradually, that becomes. It's like so they feed that information to you in a particular way, and they are targeting you based on your location. So if you're from that part of country. Or, or I mean, if you're from, let's say, that particular state, and uh, you are eligible voter, so they know this, and you're likely to vote to X or opposite party. So they are targeting you. They are feeding you with the information. Sometimes positives, sometimes negative, depending upon whatever their campaign is. But the idea is, they feed that information to you, and with the help of these writers. Okay, how many times have you read Tora? You might have seen a lot of great storyline, depending upon the subjects that you are actually uh, interested to study about. It can be food, travel, some some people, some subjects. Now, with the help of writers, people they leverage this channel to reach out to maximum number of potential, or I would say, qualified audience. So that the more number of reach they have, the higher chances are that they will become a brand in front of them. Understood? Great example, Cadbury. Cadbury. They run a, you know, they sell chocolates from a range of 100 rupee to uh, sometimes 5, 10 rupee to 50, 20, right? Are they selling you 100 rupee chocolate online? No. They run a great storyline around social media. They connect you emotionally with your family members during the Rakshabandhan time or Diwali time. They, they, they create that, that Cadbury as a chocolate is a great gift to, you know, give somebody, let's say your sister, your loved ones, your friends, family, right? What are the whole concept behind this? Content writers, they create that script in a way that you give that emotional touch. You have that trust on the brand. The day you go out, let's say, to buy a grocery, all right, to the nearest place from your home and uh, let's say, you know, local grocery store. You, If you see this brand called Cadbury, let's say even a five rupee chocolate pack or 10 rupee, you should have that confidence. I know this brand, let me pick one for myself. So these writers... They connect you in that way. And one interesting part, you all will really uh, you know, understand that right now. Okay, so you are searching for the content writing courses or stuff like that since last few weeks, I assume this. And uh, if you go to Google, there on your mobile device, open the Google Chrome app. There is one search bar, scroll down the page. There is something called you may have missed. Something like this. There are recommended articles for you, right? And now search engine is sending you a push notification about what? Is content writing a good career? Would you like to read this? Content writing courses in Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, depending upon your cities. Best institutions, best trainers about career scope. Anybody in the group who has noticed these types of articles and you have never been to those websites, but still you're getting those articles in front of you. Anybody in the group has noticed this part that you're getting that push notification from search engines because they know your behavior now. They know if Sneha is searching for content writing, Sneha is interested to study this subject and they are reaching out to you. They're targeting you with that particular content copy. So the beauty, you know, who has created this content? You. You help an individual to become a brand. Now for you, I am skills will become a brand if you will search for everything and you will find us in front of you every time. No matter it is at YouTube, it is at Quora, it is search engine, it is someone else's blog, it is at any news portal, anywhere. So that's how industry works. Content writer job profile is to help these brands to achieve these three goals. As I've said, other than this, yes, of course, content writing is vast. There are subjects like publishing a book and all that. Now this in the rare occasion, let's say if you're going to get a job at a specific organization with a specific kind of a role, then you may have a very, very, you know, straight and a simple profile. The process will be that you have to just write, let's say PR for various brands, actually the newspaper, online e-papers and all that. But that's a rare occasion, right? In most of the cases, the three objectives that we have just now learned are the most important one. And these are the things you basically execute in the real time uh, implementation to achieve those three goals. I hope everybody is understood. You know, uh, it's clear on this subject. Now, let's understand this market. You all are now clear. So I would say you are now clear about your destination where you have to travel. I will help you guys to understand depending upon what you would like to achieve, depending upon your goals. I will help you guys to learn right now. How are you going to meet those goals? Okay. So first, everybody in the chat box, please help me to know why are you here? Would you like to get a job, your first job in the content writing industry? Would you like to become a freelancer or would you like to set up your business? Let's say you would like to start 
a content writing agency. So why are you here? If you can help me to know this, I will help you to overall understand why and how you are going to get the job. How are you going to start a freelancing career, and how you can go ahead and establish a great, I would say, uh, you know, career around uh, business or launching your own agency. So two people have mentioned Rahul and Vrinda, freelancers. Avinash is again to become a freelancer here. Job for Devrat or freelancing. Rahul would like to start a business. Freelance for Saurav. Everybody would like to become freelancer. Very good. Others in the chat box. Prema to become a freelancer. As a secondary source of income. Very good. Job for Michael. Any other person who would like to mention? Okay, so understand step by step, how are you going to get a job? How are you going to start a freelancing career? And how are you going to launch your agency in this training program? First and foremost, understand the job front. Content writing is also known as organic marketing. I am not sure how many of you are aware about it. Organic marketing or organic writing is basically slow. It is a non-transparent. There is no guarantee about anything that if you are going to do something here uh, in the content industry that you will be producing the results. No guarantee around it. Moreover, the important part is it takes its own time. All right. If you will do something in the content writing industry today, uh, it will take, I would say, a few months to finally go ahead. Uh, I mean, for search engines to finally go ahead and decide whether uh, you are going to get the positions or not. All right. So that's how the content industry is. A lot of institutions, including us, we spread this that once you complete our course, you are going to get a job. Or we say that you can start your freelancing career that I'll also put some light in the next five, 10 minutes. My friends, remember one thing, you will remain jobless if you will do any kind of a course, there is a process. If you will not follow this, it's hard to get into the industry. And in this orientation, I really want the people to accept the reality of the market over understanding the, the basic concepts. Okay. Now, how are you going to get a job in the content writing industry? That's the most critical part. Let's say if tomorrow Amazon would like to go ahead and hire you as a content writer because you have done a course from IM skills. Right, so Amazon have two models to advertise. Model number one is they run ads and that requires a lot of money, right? So they will hire you as a copywriter, let's say to promote their iPhone 13, wherein they have a budget to spend, let's say one crore every month. On the basis of this certification course, do you think they are going to take this risk on you? Answer is no, right? If it is organic marketing and they want to rank their website organically about any product, right? Means SEO thing. Now, because you've done a one month course or followed by a short internship with any organization, do you think they are going to trust you because you have done this work? No. Answer is again, no. So they're not going to hire you because they would like to hire somebody. Let's say instead of hiring person at 25K, they may be ready to spend 30K, but they want to hire somebody who has a good experience and he, he or she should be qualified about the subject. Do you all agree to this? Am I right or wrong? So it's like you will never be able to finally go ahead and get that job. Now, what it takes to get a job, that's why you are here. Am I correct? Quick yes, no, maybe from all. To get a job in the market, there is one thing that everybody should remember. The subject is known as P-O-R-T-F-O-L-I-O. -O -O, stands for portfolio. Now, Weber, help us to understand what exactly portfolio is. It's a critical thing given I'm investing my entire career, money, time, and I want to know this, so pay some light you know, attention to this particular subject. I'll put some light now. Guys, a content writing portfolio stands for, we have no clue who will come and hire you tomorrow. Maybe a lead generation based company, maybe company looking forward to develop a brand, or maybe a company into online acquisition, maybe a news portal, maybe a startup, maybe I don't know, right? After four months when you're graduating, who will hire you? So you have to set up your overall profile, right? 
you have to go ahead and have your profile in a way that people, no matter from which background they are coming, they can see that, okay, trusted resource this person is, let's hire. Agree? A portfolio is a place wherein you're going to write for various types of websites and articles. You're going to go ahead and publish your books so that if, you know, somebody uh, will ask you that, do you know proofreading? Do you know how to write a book and all that? You have that already published. You're going to write for a big platform such as Times of India. And that happens, okay? You're going to release your own PR, press release. You are going to write and do everything practically. And the most important part, the articles, whatsoever you will write for various other businesses or websites in the program created by us, you will have all the implementation real time. Plus each and every exercise, each and every these things, okay, will be done by you practically. And the best part, the outcome is, this is your real resume. When somebody tomorrow will appear and say that, okay, I'm looking forward to hire a good content writer, you can showcase your work to the people with the help of that blog that you have started with us. Paid or non-paid, all up to you. But people can see that, okay, this is what you have created. This many, These many people from social media, they read or they see the engagement. These many people from article or SEO, they come to your website or they visit your particular thing. If you have created a SOB, statement of purpose for any visa application or anything, they can see that how you've created it because the document is live. You have published a book and it's live. So that means you are a qualified writer. It's your book is live. You are writing for Times of India. No doubt if they are approving your article, you are good at it. So all these things are known as your portfolio development and where it happens only at Iron Skills. So we develop this portfolio in the program so that you're digitally very sound. When people are taking your interview, they should not have this doubt whether he or she is capable enough to do this exercise or job for us or not, because they can see all the real stats. Understood, guys? Now, this is the beauty. This is what our students gain. This is what our students get. And this is how they become a qualified writer in the overall program that we have created for four months. We will talk about that, but not right now. I'll talk about, I'll, I'll talk about the freelancing part in the next few seconds. Are you all clear? Quick acknowledgement. Now, other than this, I have a humble request. Pay attention to these words, okay? The people you are talking to, who they are, they are all people who are basically selling the courses. Getting my point? Their job is to sell you guys the course. If you will ask these questions after doing the course, will I get a job? Their answer is yes. If you'll ask them, if after doing the course, will I get a freelancing career? Their answer is yes. You ask them a question and their answer is yes. You will ask them, do you have a discount? Their answer is yes. For those guys, every answer is yes. I'm not talking about this guy who works here at IM Skills, Shiva. He will authentically answer you. And I'm not saying for, for a reason because you will become my student. No, I don't want you to become my student with some false commitments. No. We want you to become our student when you know that this industry requires this, these, you know, let's say these many efforts, time investment and all. If you're ready, then only become our student. And then there is a commitment. If that doesn't happen, we will refund your money. It's a recorded line to us if that doesn't happen, but it's a committing thing. It's not that you can write a book in day. It requires time. So everything will happen in a particular time span. Are you all with me? Now, I'm going to put some light around freelancing career. Now, a lot of businesses out there they promote freelancing, get clients from US, UK, uh, do this, that activity, right? That's a wrong exercise. Believe me, it's a complete wrong exercise. Now, I will help you to understand if you would like to become a freelancer, what it takes to be there. And I will club freelancing with businesses, okay? Now, understand, first and foremost, if you're going to launch yourself as a freelancer, that's the biggest mistake you're doing. Why? I'll help you. Instead of launching yourself as a freelancer, I recommend you position yourself as a business, means a brand. There are no differences between these two. It's just that you are just positioning yourself as an agency versus a freelancer. In this case, a freelancer has one specialization, one or two. In the case of business, you can add multiple things. You can grow your business with a long vision. First step is clear that if you want to become something, at least become a business owner. Now, let's say you're really good at cooking. Let's say, okay, let's assume this. And you would like to start your YouTube channel. Right? What will you do? You will first create a video. 
and then you will put that video somewhere. That's YouTube. You will get reviews or views and all the things, right? Based on that, you will grow your channel. Am I right? Now, a freelancer or a business people, they make one mistake. Now, what is that one mistake? When they are learning, let's say we are teaching you 25 types of writing. When they launch their, you know, themselves as a content writers in the industry, they make these 25 types of writing as their products. Definitely you should do this, but step by step. If you will launch 25 products with the website, let's say email writing, resume writing, SOP writing, it's good. But in the end of the day, you are going to create a bottleneck. You have to fight with all the other companies. Let's say 25 is your product areas. Let's say there are 60 other companies, those who are already doing business around it. Now, how many competitors you have to fight with? You can do the you know, calculation here. I'm not good at it. Versus if I launch my business only around, let's say with SOP writing services, that's my first business. I will serve people for SOP writing services in the market. With SOP writing services, people pay around 3,000 word, you know, for 1,000 word article, 3,000 to 4,000 rupees. Anybody in the past have ever applied for any college admission or visa application? You might have approached any SOP writer in the past. That's the standard price. So they pay 3 rupee to 4 rupee per word. That is the beauty. What you should do in this context? Once you have, let's say, there is a very good search volume. And I'm not saying this with any reason. There, are, there is a search volume, okay? I can show you our articles rank on these keywords. Now with the SOP thing, what I'm trying to create or help you guys to understand here is what is the most recommended part? Once your first product is mature, launch the next service. Let's say SEO article writing services. Then let's say email writing services. Then let's say resume writing. Slowly and gradually grow your business. This way you will be able to have a stable and a long-term vision plus you will be profitable from the day first. You don't have to fight with 100 companies. You have to fight with 10. It's easy to be. This is one. Now you also need a portfolio like these job people. But you have to also develop another skills. Marketing skills because until unless you don't know how to market yourself, it's hard to get the attention from the you know, people. Selling skills in the market, you should know. You must know how to manage the finances. You must know the technology part attached you must have a mentor to consult with and a lot am i right now this happens here i can or shiva can give you a list of 1500 plus people or you can simply go ahead go and on linkedin and write iron skills you are going to get list of all the people who are graduated from iron skills are doing really well talk to them and where they are and are we still serving them answer is yes now i would like to put some light here at most of the institution what people are promoting Become a freelancer and sell at freelance sites. You might have heard Odes, freelance.com, all these companies, right? True Lancer. Have you heard about these companies? I am really against this. Why? The client who has actually been to True Lancer, Freelancer, Odex, this person also followed the same process. This person Googled something and after that they found their website and now you are bidding there. You are just trying to convince these people bad exercise what if i'll teach you how to go ahead and create your own ranking the marketing path and then i'll teach you how to sell and one person can do everything to run let's say in the initial stage once you have a big team of course you are profitable that's why you have a big team but that is the way the model works all with me everybody clear now these are not selling tricks these are not anything that i that we are just doing it for the first time. This is what we say that, okay, this is unique here at IM Skills. Now I'm going to share the next part that you're really going to like, okay? That why and how our course is recommended by everybody. You go to top writing agencies and check with them why they hire IM Skills students. Why is that people respect IM Skills program and why our students are so happy? Now, unlike others, Let's say you're sitting in the arts class. Can you become a lawyer? Yes. Let's say you're sitting again in arts class. Can you become a chartered accountant? No. You're sitting in the arts class. Can you become a doctor? No. Are you with me? How many of you disagree to this or how many of you agree to this? 
it's impossible to become CEO or doctor, right? But lawyer, it is possible because the academic learning is aligned according to that. With me, art students can pursue that, but not the CEO or the doctor, right? Understand. Organizations out there, I repeat, organizations out there, what are they doing? Everyone has one month course followed by a short internship for one, two, three months, depending upon the institutions, right? They are promising job person a job freelancer person, a freelance career, business person to launch an agency. One state course is assuring everything to the people. How is it possible? I guess it is not at all possible. With me? Are you all with me? Now, what is a beauty of Iron Skills program? We give you guys one month of our training while assuming this, that nobody, including me, you, and everybody, okay, nobody here is joining us, uh, you know, that they are a pro writer, they would like to go ahead and upskill themselves. No, we believe that you have no idea how to write any type of a content. So in the first one month, that's called four weeks of a live online classroom, we teach you in 16 hours, 25 types of content writing skills. Okay, these are those skills, 25 types of content writing skills. We will give you weekly three assignments before the next class. Those assessments will be evaluated by the faculties, me and the other one. And before Sunday, next Sunday, you're going to receive the feedback around the work you've done or summer date. Now, what happens is after one month of a course, we will give you the overall hands-on experience about how to write X, Y, Z different types of contents. Okay. Now, we will wait for one week. We will ask you to complete the pending work if in case we have given you any kind of feedback. Then we will launch a three months internship wherein again, every Sunday, there are classes, 10 classes. Now what happens is we will divide you people into two different categories. Job people will sit on the left. Business people will sit on the right. Now, if a person needs a job, this person needs a portfolio. Are you with me? Job people will develop their portfolio. If a person needs to start a business, what do you need? You need to learn marketing, sales, and rest of the skills we have just now, you know, talked about, plus your portfolio. Are you with me? So you're going to learn all these things. And one promise made to all, okay? Before you go out from the training program, overall four months, you will have your interviews with you. This person who is here to start with a business, your business will be launched in the course not after the course and a promise made you will have your first lead i'm not saying a converted lead but your first lead your prospect that you have captured from the internet in the program that is the beauty of iron skills everybody sounds exciting quick yes no maybe now this is how our program is well scheduled Quick acknowledgement from all, and I'm going to talk about the next topic as discussed. I will help you to understand how are you going to make money in the internet world through content writing, okay? I'm going to introduce you guys with the next uh, way of making money. That's called affiliate marketing. If in this group, you have never heard around affiliate marketing, I'll give you one short overview of it. Though we teach this particular thing in the course, I'll give you guys a little learning around what affiliate is. First and foremost, whatever you, you know see, so yeah, business and freelancing, both are similar thing. I am telling you not to become a freelancer. I'm telling you to become a, a business owner. Why? I'll tell you the reasons in next 10 minutes. Okay. I have faced a lot of problem with this word called freelancing. I would have scaled IM skills at let's say 10 X of wherever we are today. So I'll explain you what I'm trying to create with some examples, real examples you will see, and then you will be able to relate better. So let's come back to freelancing. Uh, sorry, affiliate marketing. Can you, can you allow me to take a sip of water, please? Just a second, okay? One second. Okay, thank you so much. So friends, uh, affiliate marketing is whatever you buy today from the internet, we think that I'm buying the best product. I'm not saying that products are bad, okay? Most of the time, those products are promoted by others. For example, if you're checking for the laptop, iPhone, this, that, everything, you actually see a stuff that was promoted by a writer, blogger like you. 
I'll give you guys some insights about one thing. It's how much people make by giving a little or by sharing a little information with people like us and they make in lakhs and it's a recurring income without repeating your everyday work or task. So let's dive into this. Affiliate marketing is a process. I'm promoting your product. If through my URLs or something, the person landing to the other website, whatever I'm promoting, okay, or whichever I'm promoting, and he or she makes a purchase or fills a form there or something, the model, whatever it is, they get the commission. There are models like cost per lead means if somebody has captured a lead, they will pay you the money. If somebody have got the client, that's called cost per acquisition. They will give you the money and cost per impression is another way that somebody have seen that particular page and they will give you the money. Model works on different, different terminologies, uh, terminologies uh, and we are going to understand that part now. Example is I'll search for best laptops under, let's say, 25,000. These are ads, one, two, three, four. As a person, if I am searching for anything, I am likely to click at this particular result, this particular result, not this one. I mean, of course, if I'm looking forward to buy, then I'm clicking here and all. But people are likely to click at these URLs, correct? Wherever you see top 10, 9, all these types of words, these are typically affiliate URLs. Now, let's say New Indian Express is a website. What are they doing? They are giving you URLs of top selling laptops. Then they have also mentioned Avita Essential Refreshing something, best budget. Then they are going to give you the list. Okay. If you click here at this URL, you will be redirected to Amazon. But if you pay attention after this particular URL, okay. Can you see after this question mark, this, this is basically link ID and all. This is affiliated URL. They pay 1% commission to a person whosoever will actually go ahead and redirect the person whosoever has bought this product. So let's say I'm the one and uh, who clicked here and if i'll buy this product now within next six months because the site says the cache is as well i'm likely to buy it. and they are likely to provide me one percent commission if the sale happens within the next six months from my url understood you are searching for Let's talk about the education, for example, best machine learning course. Now, what I'll do, top seven, learn data science, something. Medium is not affiliated. Udemy is not. Coursera is not affiliated URL. Cora is not affiliated. Affiliated, 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 affiliated. They're all selling courses. Let's say 2021, October. Every URL here, Stanford University to this data science from Udemy, every URL here will redirect me to a website where people are selling. And the commission is huge, 10%, 15%. Read UTM source, link share, medium partners. Can you see this? So if I will make a purchase with this Stanford thing, I'm going to get a money. Or the person whosoever has written this website article. Now what happens is a lot of people will think how much these people are making. Let's have a look at this simple blog. then in that case, they don't get any, any money. See models are either you have helped the other brand to develop or capture a lead. So that's called CPL cost per lead model. CPA stands for cost per acquisition means somebody have purchased a product and then you're getting a money. In the case of impression, there are rare organizations paying money to the people only for the impression thing that no matter person have seen or not, but you're running the ad that's called banner ads by XYZ brands. People run banner ads. For example, with one of our blog, I'll just give you an example here. This is a, one of our blog. It's an affiliate channel only. I also run affiliate channels. I'll show you what exactly it is. Give me five minutes. Now, these are banner ads. Whether somebody will click here or not, I am just getting this banner advertisement here. Understood? In the case, if I'll click here and I'm redirected and I'll fill up this form. So it's like, can you see this? 
So what is it like? It is like a lead. So I am getting a lead from that channel. And if I'll make a purchase, it's like acquisition of a customer happened because of this website. Now clear, Rishab? Come back, understand. Let's do some analysis. This website is talking about only courses, development, business, marketing, personal development. You click at any URL, they will give you option. Top 10, 2021, 2021, 2021, everywhere. Best sales certification, this certification and that, right? Copy this website. And use Uber Suggest. They are only promoting courses. They are writing about them. They are promoting them. That's it. And basically, they are helping people to get the genuine information that these are the courses you can pursue. And people, I would not say 100% people click. Few people, few hundred people, they click. Okay, 1%, 2% is the ratio. This website drives 1,84,000 visits every month to their blog especially from US. This is the beauty of this particular blog. In US, self-learning is really, really on the higher side versus India. Can I write this number here for you guys? 1.8 lakh people to this website, people are visiting. Multiply this website with 2% conversion. Don't take much conversion, okay? Just 2%, bare minimum. It's like 3,600 people are buyers. They are selling products that's from a range of, uh, you know, 50,000 to, uh, I mean, so from a range of 10,000 to 15,000, depending upon that 10% is a conversion uh, ratio. I mean, 10% uh, is the commission in the educational sector or 15% depending upon the kind of products you're selling. I will not give you that number because that will go like very, very high. I'll say that this website only gets $2.00. Per sale, that's it. If I'll tell you, you know, ten dollars, fifteen dollars, what they're earning per sale, that's huge. Two dollars is what they earn. Let's do some maths here. Thirty-six hundred multiplied by two is like seventy-two hundred. Seven two double zero USD to INR. A simple blog is making like five lakh fifty thousand from a blog. Whosoever the writer is, no idea. That is the beauty. This is how people make money. Now you search for anything. You search for best AC. You are getting this top 10, all these websites, Bajaj, open this site. If you will read this website, check sale price. It is affiliated URL, link code. They are selling home products. Okay, look at the number. This website is writing about it. The, the niche of the website is home appliances, conditioner, cooler, fryer, purifier, all these things, right? They may have hardly 100 plus articles. If you see the traffic percentage of this website, where is Uber suggest? Uber suggest. I'm sorry. Are you all able to relate things? Quick yes, no, maybe. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll I'll do this research. Able to connect with the things that how big the market is. This website is around. They they, they are driving around two lakh eighty thousand people. Now just ask yourself. Major audience from India. US is very less. That's a beauty. Indian people. When you people are buying. Or whenever you want to buy something, you always look forward to buy the best, right? If I'm searching for the best AC, I have a clear-cut idea to buy AC, right? I will not search for anything when I have no intentions. On a term called best AC, they get 67,000 visits. Water purifier, these many visits. That is the overall beauty. Even if you will take a hypothetical number in their case, 1% conversion, right? They have 3.6 something people. They are also making five some lakh rupees from a simple blog. And if you read their articles, what are they doing? They're not doing anything special. The articles are all around best air conditioner, best water purifier, and a list of 10 companies. That's it. With the link given to the Amazon. And I'm only giving you 1% conversion. Not even 2% in their case. Because education is one of the things that people typically 
buy it. And you know what? I've been an affiliate marketer. I still run a lot of affiliate channels. And somebody, I think Sneha asked a question. Now, one of the things that made, uh, you know, okay, so when you Google a term called uh, best content writers, these are the acknowledgement given to me by search engine, of course, with Bhavik and Radha, these are other writers like me. So this is not something that you can create. There's something that is being acknowledged by the internet, okay? Now, before this, before I am skills, before 2015 thing, I was running the first venture for uh, by the name of Course Deco. I still run this website, Course Deco, as a venture. I used to write about various educational programs. And my model was to earn a commission, right? It was a great way of making money at that time. Content was even growing in the industry. And I was happy with whatever I had. When I decided to launch my professional trainings, given a lot of people used to reach out on the subject, teachers, blogging and all, I thought that, okay, let's start with a course. But I realized one mistake that I did was, it was course Deco, not course Kuro. And uh, I had to start from the scratch again, and then build a website for I'm skills, content, and you know, all those things, we have to market it. That was a bottleneck. So two things, two learnings for all. One, don't position yourself as a freelancer. You may get stuck when, whenever you would like to grow or you would like to expand your business. Step one. Step number two, don't make affiliate marketing as your active source of income. It should always be passive. Why? Because you have another opportunity. With, let's say today we run, we run all the affiliate channels. Okay. Let's say I was just showing you advisor and tell. I run so many sites. Okay. Course Deco, vibeofk.com idiot.com, digitalcoursesindia.com, coursenearyou.com, contenttitingtrainings.com, all these sites belongs to us, okay? Now, everywhere, see, if we are selling a course, let's say dropshipping, I'm not selling this course, but I know the other organization is selling, let's say, they are selling, Udemy guys, they give commission to us, let's say, per sale 100 rupee. Given there is a huge traffic, it's always good to make people as an affiliate and earn a side-by-side -side income. Getting my point? Because you have a lot of opportunity. You can create content. That's your beauty. That's your overall niche authority, right? And if you are selling any course around it, of course, you should promote your course first and of course, the other one then. But this gives you a leverage, a possibility to sell, sell, sell better. Understood? Yes, no, maybe everybody. This is how the overall process of this particular industry works. I repeat, this is how overall process works. But this industry is not at all for all those people who are here to make quick money. Those who are here to make quick money should look forward for something different because it takes at least four months to five months time to set up your overall profile, portfolio and understanding around this world. Everybody with me? Let's understand why I am skills. Now, this is the critical part. Unlike any other training program, you are not learning from the outsourced trainer. Not at all. The trainer out there are outsourced. The company's founders, somebody renowned, somebody known about, see, this is my bread and butter. This is what I know. If you ask me anything about ads, I don't know what it is. One thing very, very clearly is that we are good at it. That's why we have no other courses. This is what we know and we are good at it. And we will ensure that the student, whosoever is joining us, will get the complete handholding, not just in the training, even after the course. Is this clear? I will talk about it, Avinash. Give me two minutes, okay? Our course is pure objective driven. If you're here to get a job, promise for a job. If you're here to start with the business, not after the course. In the course, we will launch your business. We will start marketing it. We will start promoting you. Pure hands-on training. No theory at all in the entire course. Weekly assessments, weekly feedback, and everything will be happening in the course with live projects. You have trainer support, not just you know over an email and all. Phone numbers are available. WhatsApp discussions group are available. Email, Zoom call, everything is available. Once you are here, see digital content keeps changing. Once you are here, let's say in 2021, you're doing our course. 2022, you realize I need a revision. Free of cost, come back and do our course 100 times. 2022, 2023, 2024, nothing you have to go and spend here. Just an email and you are all here. Free of cost. Once paid, student forever plus every tool every class recording each and everything will be delivered to you in the learning management system you can get the access of it anytime any day for n number of websites 
every class recording you can download, PPTs you can download, every material you can download, and everything you can go ahead and use. Further to this, if you need any kind of a personalized consulting, free of cost, that is available with the mentors. But with, you have to fix up a call for that. The course overview, I would not like to go ahead and uh, give that because I think that will take me towards the selling part of it. Just give me one second, guys. I'll take your questions. Just relax. These are all those types of writing styles you're going to learn with the marketing styles, everything. There are two certificates attached with this course, but exam based, HubSpot and IM skills. You have to appear for the test and you will be certified. The course fees is 12,900. 12,900 plus 18% taxes. 15,222. Once the course is done for one month, three months internship will start and then the job part will be done and all. The classes are Sundays, 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. I'll write this for people. 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. You will have your classes. Internship classes are 8 p.m. till 9 p.m. Every Sunday. 10 classes for internship. 16 are classes for four weeks. Here. Overall assignments, minimum 110 hours is what you're going to get. Rest, it's all your practice. We recommend people take your assignments. If we are teaching you 110 hours of assignments, you at least give yourself, multiply it by two. So that you have more stronger portfolio, you know, portfolio than any other person in the market. Are you all clear? Quick yes, no, maybe. Now, to all those who are planning to start with the upcoming batch, there is one batch that we are starting on 31st October, 2021. Left with only and only two seats, I repeat. I will give URL to the people who are interested to register, but in next few minutes, and then I'll close the URL once the two seats are booked. Step one. Step number two is, if you're not targeting 31st October, 28th November is another batch. You can book yourself right at 5.30, given after you know this batch is closed, we will open the seats for that batch, and you can book yourself for 28th November training as well. Now, all those people who have a plan to start with, this coming 31st, you have five minutes to go online and get yourself on board. Please do not come back that I made a payment after a few hours or minutes and now you're not giving me seat. Seats are limited, maximum 30 in any of the batch. Okay. And this is how it is going to be. URL we have given you, you can register all those who are targeting 31st. Those who are targeting later on batches can go ahead and ask us for the URL once this batch is closed. Now I am good at taking all your questions. So let's go ahead and help Avinash first. How bloggers reach out to these brands to publish their brands. Avinash, affiliate marketing is actually done. One, they offer you direct publications. You can go ahead and do this. And then there are affiliate companies. We will teach you both. I'll give you one example here. If you go to Udemy, I opened Udemy a few seconds back, right? If you open Udemy, scroll down the page, Click at affiliates, fulfill their requirements, and then you're going to get your URL. Can I offer a job? Then after a few months, experience transit to business. Why not sort of? It is 100% possible. How about the salary ranges available in the content writing jobs? Depending upon cities, that's the most important part. TRA, let's say one Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore. Salary scale starts from 18,000 to 25,000 for a fresher. However, if you are in the, uh, let's say, tier two or three, salary is somewhere between 12,000 to 18,000, depending upon the organizations and your skills, of course, that matters the most. Sangeeta says, Webhub, I'm, I have two questions. One, one month course is enough to learn and get hands on with 25 content types. Secondly, who is it internship with? Is it internal to IM skills or with? No, I'll explain. First, one month is enough. Because it's overall an investment of 100 plus hours in that one month. Is this clear, Sagita? And you will also be able to observe yourself that, yes, I have done great improvement in terms of my writing skills. It's not rocket science at all. We've been doing it since years and we, have, we know how it works. Second thing, our internship is not like you're going to work for any company. You're going to work for yourself. You have not understood one part. You need a portfolio to pitch people, correct? People won't entertain you if you don't have that portfolio. What we will do, we have, let's say, eight to 10 partners, including our companies, okay? We will allow you to become author everywhere. You will publish your book. You will write for Times of India. You will release your PR. I think everything, wherever a prospect can come from the job point of view interview side, we will prepare you from all the point of view that you have done each and every type of work. And this portfolio is your resume. 
you have to show this to the people and this will make you win the market now clear sangeeta any other question guys guys as i said i would like to repeat once again 31st october batch okay let me ask this way who is planning to start from 31st october who so ever is planning to start from 31st october you can please mention me or i so that i can help avinash humble request please get yourself on board i think you have already registered so thumbs up one seat left two questions first you will be the mentor for this course yourself secondly when you were discussing about left side job people will sit on the right side business people if business people will get into the marketing and portfolio and other things isn't it that better that selecting a job uh okay first and foremost jobs are never better i've been an employee i've been an employer the beauty of uh, being an employer is that you have also oh, it first of all it's all about i think what you like if you like that settled type of a thing in life then job yes but in the end of the day the kind of job that you will do you have if you have ever learned around sales your boss get 10x of what you get so if you're getting 1 lakh salary your boss is actually earning 10 lakh rupees from you right i'm asking you or i'm actually telling you when you will become a writer content writer you will do the job that your boss will bring what if i'll help you to learn the second step that how your boss is going to get that lead as a paid client and you don't have to do it every day you know the beauty of content writing industry it is b2b let's say today i am skills is your client we say give us 50000 words every month right and i'll pay you 1 rupee per word now i am your client for 50000 words every month right with me you don't have to convert me every month you don't have to convince me every month that i am best till the time you will serve me properly i will become your client or i will remain your client let's say this happens in the month of october with i am skills in november first of november unlike our business model you already have 50k confirmed revenue somebody will give you the check right in my case i have to pitch again to the next students every thursday and then tell them this is how we work or why we are good in your case that's not the story then in november if you will do an addition of let's say 1 lakh by december you are at 1.5 lakh fixed check plus a new addition it can be 20k or it can be 2 lakh understood the model that's called two year plan from here if you will replicate this model after a year you have 10 lakh fixed income you don't have to write at that time you have to just get the new clients hire writers this is how big content writing agencies works understood the model devrut now this is where you need a mentor to coach you to guide you to make you understand the industry how the process works and how you're going to win how you're going to win the overall market sangeeta if you have a plan humble request get yourself on board asap please don't come back because you know after the session then people write an email to me that web of you promise a seat that's not the case at all and i will remain online for the next two more minutes please because i have another class that's fine if you become a content writer and you have uh, you have a, you have a foreign language knowledge is in an advantage from the content production point of view it is one of my close relative she writes content for a spanish thing and she's working for this coding school for kids for that particular location and uh, uh, you know the 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 content is being produced by that girl and of course the language teacher or the code language teacher is of course from that particular location only but this particular brand for this particular brand she is like everything because if she is not there that market is almost at end getting my point so it is an advantage however depending upon the companies you are actually working with so you have to actually go ahead and create your importance within the company that how exactly you are going to help them overall in terms of achieving those goals 
because their final core objective is either to sell or to create get me corner or whatever and if you are fulfilling those requirements yes you are the player you are the winner okay guys so from here further my colleague will take it forward no problem rahul you can use this one and get on board all right no problem with november you can book yourself shiva if you are online rahul will be enrolling himself that is for 30 28 28 november all right guys thank you i hope you all uh, like this orientation i was uh, honest enough in terms of really giving you guys the the right understanding about the industry what about the course around the uh, your careers how you have to you know deal in this particular industry how are you going to achieve your final goals everything so for help at any any such things you can get in touch with shiva is a great person remember one thing he won't lie to you like a typical salesman he won't do that uh, we are working together since years and i personally know that he is a good person by uh, knowledge and of course his understanding level is nice so don't expect any kind of a sale conversation you might have even uh, you know got an experience around that subject too while while speaking with him so speak with him share your thoughts and humble request again don't fall in those traps of discounts deals and um, uh, diwali offer the share offer and all such things as you know followed by many institutions where programs are on a sale versus the driving academic or as a, as a knowledge to the people so decide do the proper discussion and share your thoughts openly with everybody especially the counseling team they are good at what they are doing no sales at all as i said this is what we will follow forever so thank you once again for participating with me i wish you all uh, a very happy dishara and it's tomorrow and enjoy your time guys thank you for giving us your valuable one hour i will be meeting you all soon in the live classes as well thank you i'm going to end the class